South Korea's Yeonmu missile, a prime component of its arsenal against North Korea. Under prevailing arrangements with the U.S., the Yeonmu can travel up to 300 kilometers. But outgoing President Lee Myung-bak has been pushing to extend its range to 800 kilometers. That would put any point inside North Korea within its reach. U.S. agreement to develop a longer-range missile would be a political plus for Lee's conservative government. It's been gearing up for South Korea to take over full operational control of its own defenses from the U.S. by 2015. But critics say that extending South Korea's missile capability would undermine a voluntary arms control agreement the U.S. has strongly supported for many years. The missile technology control regime, signed by 34 countries, aims to curb the proliferation of unmanned delivery systems for weapons of mass destruction. Former Pentagon official Richard Speer, who helped negotiate the missile technology pact, is worried about the response from South Korea's most powerful neighbor. These missiles could reach China. And given the tensions in East Asia over islands, uh, tensions between Japan and China and South Korea, um, it's very unhelpful to have longer range missiles um, uh, entering the picture uh, on South Korea's part. And Speer says South Korea may be opening the door to a new global arms race. What will happen in the Middle East? What will happen in Latin America? Um, to the, uh, the limits that we've been maintaining for so many years on uh, missile capability. Um, if South Korea can be an exception, other people will want to be an exception. The new agreement comes as the Obama administration signals it's begun shifting U.S. ground force and naval resources to Asia. Regardless of an agreement to expand South Korea's missile limits, the State Department says that any such pact would be consistent with the two countries' quote, shared non-proliferation objectives. Yet that commitment may be hard to uphold if South Korea boosts its missile prowess. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.